Hello, my name is Miss Hugo. I am a seventh grade math teacher here at IS34. In today's lesson, you will see students working on an introduction to probability. They will be looking at success criteria and seeing what they will be responsible for in this lesson. Students are going to reflect on their pretest to determine their entry point into the lesson. Throughout the lesson, you will see me pull a small group. This small group has been predetermined based on their pretest. I looked for some common misconceptions that students can have discussions about. And I'm going to come around and put some purple blocks on your desk. So if you have a purple block, I just want you to come to the front of the room. Question for question number one. So any work that you had, I want that to be on your whiteboard. So when you guys talk, it's easy to see each other's work and see misconceptions and things like that. Okay, so basically you guys are going to be in charge of this conversation. We've done this before, you know how to do this. So you're gonna look at your three prompts, okay? And then you could go through them in order or you can pick one and, and go back to it, whatever you guys want, but there's gonna be a discussion between you. So once you guys are finished writing, okay, you're gonna look at that prompt card and that's what you guys are gonna be talking about. I got it right, the question right, but I just forgot to simplify. So I just simplify now. And I got I, the final answer when I got on my pretest was 20 over 50. So it simplified to 40%. Uh, I got the question wrong. And I know what my mistake was. I was supposed to, right here, I did 100 divided by 2. So it was supposed to be instead of 20 over 100, it was supposed to be 20 over 50. And which would simplify to 40, well, would be equal to 40 over 100, which is equal to 40%. But I put that over 100. Um, I wrote my answer, like, I got this one wrong, but I wrote my answer as 2%. So I wrote 30% for blue and 10% for yellow. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I had to add them both and, like, express the answer as a fraction. I got, I did, I got 30% and 10%, and I think we have to add them up. I got 30 and 10, and then I added them to get 40%, but then I subtracted that from 100% to get 60%. What I did was I got, I did, the, I put it in a fraction, but I only, I forgot to put do the yellow, so I had 15 over 40. Another question on the sheet is, how does this lesson align to the success criteria? <coughs> what connections can I make to my prior knowledge? Um, I, oh, you, uh, oh, oh. From our prior knowledge, we knew like the proportion was one of the steps we needed to figure out to solve it, but like it didn't really make any sense to use it in this problem. Yeah, um, I think this aligns to the success criteria on um, the first one and the third one because the question is a real life situation and we have to find the determine the probability of um, you finding um, a blue and a yellow ring in the cereal box. But I think it could also go with the first box because you had to determine the probability as a ratio or a fraction, which I did a percent. So it had to be in fraction or ratio form. Um, and the last question on the sheet is, how will I know I am successful in this lesson? Um, well, I know I'm successful in this lesson when we further do questions similar to this topic and we're getting multiple questions right. As of right now, um, none of us have pr probably mastered it yet because we've only done one problem. Yeah, because uh, yeah, to master it, we need to be able to answer every single question. And like, if I got another question like that, I don't know if I'd be able to fully answer it correctly because I'm still confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes. I agree with you too, but I'd like to add on. Um, to be successful in this lesson, I think you should follow the success criteria because it's basically telling you what you should do in order to be successful. Cause... Um, and the last thing on the, there, it's not actually a question, but it says, what does anybody have questions I still have about this topic? A question I have is like, why can't it be expressed in a percent? Or like, why is... I think it I think can, can be. You, it can be? Because um, Chris, I don't know exactly how Chris did it, but I know he got it right. And he ended up getting 20 over 50. And then if he wanted to simplify it, he could have brought it to 40%. I guess. Yeah. But we, we, didn't, we didn't have the correct percent. So that means Julia would have gotten it right if she subtracted it from yeah. 100. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I think like, since there were 50... <laughs> It says 50 total rings, and the blue had 15 rings, and the yellow had 
Five. Yeah, so if you would so add that, it would be 20 over 50. Yeah, and you do put the, oh, the so part yeah. over the hole, yeah. and then you yeah. just uh, use to the, the divide that. Oh, so, so you added yeah. two, I get it. So, so and, and that's why you could have added the percent. And if you wanted to keep it as a percent, you could simplify it to two fifths.